I could list off dozens of rough roads in California, but none of them, I mean none of them, compared to Matoll Road in Humboldt County. You really feel like a, a rally car racer when you're riding on this road here. Matoll Road is located in what's known as the Lost Coast, a portion of California so rugged and rough that they had to build Highway 1 around it. Matoll Road spans 64 miles between Ferndale and the town of Weot on Highway 101. And along the way, it has intermittent patches of pavement, if you want to call it that. It's also steep, winding, and often narrow. But the views here, well, the views, they're well worth the suspension repairs you'll probably need afterwards. Despite its remoteness, people do live along the toll road in the Lost Coast. My name is Crater. I'm an amateur mycologist. People like amateur mushroom hunter Crater Ellis, who was named after his favorite mushroom, the Ornella Craterium. Right now, I'm kind of dogless, wifeless, boatless, and I could be homeless, but I could also live anywhere I wanted in the whole world, and this is where I want to be, so. Crater lives in Petrolia, a small town with a population of about 300 to 1,000. No one really knows. Census data here is about as good as the cell phone reception. I, I got zero bars, nothing. No, I, no I don't know what that means. Okay. Even. Lucky for Crater, Petrolia does have a payphone. It also has a gas station, a post office, a store, a school, a church, a fire department, and this, a historic landmark, which explains the origin of Petrolia's name. California's first drilled oil wells. In 1865, Petrolia was the site of California's first drilled oil well. It supplied crude petroleum to San Francisco until it became too expensive to transport. These days, though, there's only one thing that the Lost Coast is really in high supply of. Just the best weed, Humboldt County weed. Drive an hour south of Petrolia, and you'll find yourself in Honeydew. And if you're lucky, cannabis grower Teresa Davey might just challenge you to a game of horseshoes. Are you supposed to say something, you know, like when you throw these? Or no, is this I don't think so, no. Yeehaw! Oh, then you can do that. Honeydew also has a store, a post office, and a school, which is oddly surrounded by a ridiculous amount of industrial marijuana greenhouses. Hey, uh, don't take kindly to trespassers out here on the Lost Coast. Stay on the road. Honeydew and Petrolia are in the westernmost edge of the Emerald Triangle, an area ripe with growing marijuana. Teresa says when California legalized cannabis, industrial growers invaded the area because of its moist, weed-friendly climate. How much rain do you guys get around here? We could get up to 200 inches in a normal year. Wow. Teresa's a small-time legal grower and says that the industrial growers have created an ugly scab to the natural beauty of the area. There's elderly people that live like right over here, and now they're just surrounded by humongous pot farms. They didn't move here for that. Whether you like it or not, the truth is drivers will experience rough roads and marijuana on the toll road. For the most part, the Lost Coast is a safe and scenic place to visit, but it's also a rugged part of California, both the landscape and the people. Driving through the Lost Coast on Montol Road, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.